Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Grid. Today we're in Lincoln Square. It's a truly family-friendly neighborhood um, that looks good all year round. In fact, right now it is lit up for the holidays. I think you're really gonna enjoy our visit. I'm gonna start my visit in Lincoln Square off at Aromo Cafe. It's a really cool spin on blended drinks and coffee. So what makes Aromo so special? A few different things. Um, definitely house-made nut milks. We've got house-made pistachio, almond, toasted hazelnut, and pecan milk. You make all those milks in-house? Correct. Uh, organic ingredients, superfoods throughout the uh, pastries and drink menu. Good vibes all around. Can never go wrong with that. The people of Lincoln Square really take care of small businesses in the area. So I'm really happy to be a part of the neighborhood. Lincoln Square is one of my favorite places to do some shopping because most of the businesses are independently owned, so you know that you are buying local and supporting local. I kind of want to buy everything in here. Oh, we love hearing that. You have great mugs. Oh, we're known for our mugs and our socks. Did you get socks? Tacos! And a little something for me. Yes the extra large wine <laughs> That's an entire bottle. And of course, something for the kiddos. Look at this book. We have the best gifts for young and old and everybody in between, stuff you can't find anywhere else in Chicago. Our owner, Becca, has been doing this for 13 years, growing up in retail families, so this is what she's known for, those urban general stores. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in, G. Ooh. I know you'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm here with Heather. I'm here at Planet Access. I love shopping here because when I do, all my money goes towards a good cause. How is that possible? Well, we are a profit center for non-for-profits and all of our proceeds go right back to Search Inc., which supports adults with intellectual disabilities. And in the Chicagoland area, we support around 600 adults right now. We have amazing men's and women's lines. I love the selection here. We like to focus on ethically sourced merchandise. I think the square is such a unique wonderful neighborhood that really supports the mission of this store. People really love the idea of shopping locally and to have this social mission kind of on top of that shopping local, you know, um, idea is really a kind of a special combination of things and it's nice for us to be able to actually hire pretty much everybody that, that works in this store, lives in this neighborhood. Hey, what's going on, G? I have been shopping all day. I have one more place for you, though. Oh, really? It's off the beaten path. I think you'll love it. A little hidden gem. Is this it? This is it, right here, Nomadic oh, Ant. Oh, awesome. Tell me a little bit about the shop. It's so cool. Yeah, so um, we actually, I met Suzanne actually doing street festivals. She was traveling the world, follow her on Instagram. You can see where she's getting all this great jewelry and product, and um, she just grew into now a storefront. And it's just the, one of these hidden gems in our community that I feel like you know most people don't necessarily realize that everything's not just on Lincoln. You can just walk a block over to Western and find some great stuff. Tell me about Lincoln Square. What's special about it? Yeah, I like it because it's all independent shops. And so I feel like that's what makes us really cool and unique, um, but also our food as well. Um, we have every type of restaurant you can think of, from Argentinian food to Greek food, um, French, and then new American, like the Warbler's doing right now. Um, Dewey Lire, which is one of my favorite Italian restaurants. So you can totally <laughs> go around the world in Lincoln Square. Yes, all within a few blocks. Cafe Sal Marie, which is like in the heart of the plaza. Um, great place for brunch. The Jean's Sausage Shop, it used to be Meyer's Deli, and um, when you go into the, the store, they actually have the huge sign that used to hang out front. Now it's inside, it's all been redone. Um, so they actually make their sausages in the basement, in their cellar. Um, and they actually have a huge wine store on the second floor. A lot of people don't realize that. And then they have a rooftop deck beer garden. Love it that, in the summertime. So it's like they open it up on Memorial Day weekends. The bookseller, which is kind of cool because it's an independent bookstore, but it's also a wine store. Merz Apothecary, which is one of our anchors that everybody absolutely loves, the best natural products ever. And then they actually have this new fragrance section. Um, it's called the Shops at Merz. And so they're, they're pulling in a lot of stuff from Europe. Um, they also have a lot of men's um, type of shaving needs. 
bringing Southern food to neighborhoods that need it. Why Lincoln Square? So I came, check out the neighborhood. I instantly loved the neighborhood, actually, as well. What do you love about it? Well, I love the fact that there were so many restaurants that I can eat at as well. <laughs> <laughs> there was like, like there was a lot of restaurants in this neighborhood that I'm a big fan of, but none of them are Southern. So that was why I felt like we would fit right in, which we have. So far, we've been here four years now. We do serve farm to table here. I use Slago Farms and stuff like that, but I also feel like I try my best to give people authentic, like authentic flavors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I do focus on the presentation as well. So everything's homemade, trying to serve fresh ingredients, like for example, the shrimp and grits with Miller Corner House. Wow. And I know a lot of restaurants, not even in the South, will go that extra mm -mm. step. What do people my, have to have when they come here? You have to have the shrimp and grits. That's mm -hmm. my personal favorite item. But the fried chicken is like undeniably the biggest seller. Everyone wants the fried chicken. So we brine it, we buttermilk marinate it, and then we fry it. So it should be nice and, it should be juicy, should still be crispy, you'll get the best of both worlds. From day one, the reaction has been better than I ever imagined. When I see people bringing their families here and their kids here, that maybe this would be a place that when their, kid, when their kids grow up, they're like, I remember we used to go to Luella Southern Kitchen. So that's what I hope. I hope that we're like building memories and things here. But um, Lincoln Square has definitely, definitely welcomed us. Oh man. Outside of the square, in the Lincoln Square, and I'm at Jubek Jolu, which is Kyrgyzstani food, um, Central Asia. There's a ton of fantastic BYO places in Lincoln Square from all over the world, but particularly a lot of great Thai places, there's a lot of great Korean places, and there's even Vietnamese spots as well. So you can really eat around the world here. It's an easy way to travel without actually having to leave your hometown. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on The Grid.